Crab Champions, Royal Island 199, but I figured a 200. Uh, we're on easy, but we created the best, best build imaginable. I can crash the game from hitting the best dummy team, she'll let me do that. But we're just gonna go through a bunch of upgrades and I shall show you what I can do before taking down the boss. Um, I have what's it? Yeah, just two greed perks. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any more. But I found um, because of that, I can't get really high health. But it hasn't mattered. <laughs> um, you'll understand in a second. Ooh, we're gonna wrap this one. Actually, I don't really want the other results to increase. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to change anything. But I'd have to give up something that would give me a lot of attack. I don't really want to do that. So, uh... Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> um, at the very end, I'll show you everything I have. But, uh... Just notice this set of team fucking grenades. <laughs> A couple of items. Let me open all the chests at once just to bask in the glory. It's great. Level up is such a good one. Ooh, let me see if I can't find. I've already got bulletproof as high as it can go. Maybe it's just taking it forward to find it at this point. Which is basically most of the perks, except for a couple of them. Um, so, as you can see, my bullets auto jump. And they're giant. My grenades do the same thing. And they're triple. And they're giant. And they both have a aura. <laughs> And so it's, it's great. Um, if I don't see it golden, then I look for the stars, because checklist, gemstone, and tasty orange are all overpowered. Mostly gemstone and the other one. But level up right now is also one of the most powerful. The collector is also really good. So at this point, basically, the stars are basically gonna create a situation in which I cannot lose. If you notice my ammo is going down, it does slowly go down, but it's gonna take so long that by the time it would matter, I would die. Again, level up is always the best. Big chest isn't bad, but that's mostly for the meme. And then Grenader, I love. Now I have 18 Grenade. I just want to show you that this is essentially what I'm doing but with my bullets. Maxed out so that the mana stream really is way past it. And so it's not matter what we take, so I might as well take triple grenade for the mean. I'll go with layered grenade because I don't know how high it is because I'm not going to check every individual thing because it's like that. Same with double vision. With the economy chest, because that's really what I like. It's money. It's my 24 million. I think the thing just broke on me, but it doesn't matter because I'm 
gonna get extra chests anyway. I have so much. <laughs> it's not like it hurts. I can from it instantly. And the armor is not hurt. Even if it does get hurt, I can just buy it back. Very quickly. I kinda just jam the grenade button while I do this. So it's kind of unnecessary. I crave the day I have so many grenades that I never stop pressing it. I do have quite a bit of money as power, so it's actually not have this much. It doesn't make a difference to me. I'm getting really close to a boss, is why uh, I decided to start recording. I just figured I'd show you the ungodly power I have accrued. And then if I get to Island 400, then I'm going to make another one. Basically, every time I come here, I buy whatever I can. Hearts to doubles of items that honestly make no difference. Some of them do. Like 42 is really good for me. Some of these actually do actively increase my power, but I'm not really doing it for that. I'm just doing it for. Haha, <laughs> funny, funny game. Uh, so as you can probably tell, I have uh, quite a bit of extra stuff I can buy per shop. To the point that this one is always on the wall, <laughs> and this one is right there. I kind of hope that like the next one is underneath the skull, because that would be funny. Um, I broke the game. Apparently if you uh, attack this goal too much and accrue so much that you basically... Uh, what happens is, if you hit it too much, it starts moving around. I think it gets like pushed or whatever. But it'll go all the way, and then back there, and then around. So it'll stay there for a bit, and it'll start going back. <laughs> it'll come back. It's just funny. It's great. But it crashed my game. But I only went back a couple... A couple islands. So it wasn't a big deal. Because as you can see... A couple islands does not mean much to me. I'll be overpowered either way. The shop hasn't really been ramping up in how much stuff costs for a long while. And I don't know if that's because I have such a big discount that I have to wait. Or if it's just because stuff doesn't continue to move up in price. But I guess we'll see that in the future. Hmm. No. While I love the idea of it, that doesn't really help me right now. totally do it to like give me extra damage but like I double my damage more than double my damage each time ooh like this one is really good but again I don't really have a use for these free perks as good as they are I 
to hold on to my money for now. Um, in an attempt to... get to the boss quickly so I can show you how easily I went about the boss. Something is golden, I do not care. Because one of the golden ones could be the level up one. Which honestly is the best of all of the parts that you can get. Because it means every three rounds, ten levels up. And the more levels you put into it, the more stuff that levels up. Which is just fantastic. That's why my grenades have gone up from 18 to 20 without me actually getting upgrades for it manually. goes, it popped. Blub blub. Now 16 things level up every three hours. Double vision. If there's a chance for me to die, it's gonna be from my own stupidity, and I love it. I'm gonna do all of the damage. So, Tasty Orange actually isn't that useful, especially at this point where I'm practically just immortal through sheer damage. Um, everything gets one shot. I think. I can't really tell but it's dead long before it reaches me. Uh, but I really like just the numbers building up on the side, and so I leave it. You see sometimes stuff just shoots normally instead of auto-tracking, but as soon as something spawns, it auto-tracks. So <laughs> that's the great part. because nothing gets near me. I actually prefer juiced over... No, I prefer supercharged over juiced because it provides more speed to my bullets, to my firing. Which is just great. So this next one should be the boss. Yes. First, use totem. I would take it, but I don't want to get rid of something good for just a green thing. I love when there's just a shit ton of stuff to buy. It's very convenient. Because I'd rather spend all of my money immediately than wait around and have it be nothing to buy. Kind of thing.
And at this point, I can just leave it and go in. Now let's obliterate the boss. And it's just that easy. So when it says easy mode, it's not lying. <laughs> it's easy mode. Oh, so much gold. These grenades, ones I don't have. I can't tell. Everything's hidden within each other. Here, let's uh, let's open all of these. Never mind. Just these two. I want to open them all, but I guess it's multiple. And once again, hello. So. I shall show you what I have once we get to the next shop, which will be very quick, and then I will I'm just choosing whatever it is first to get it done quickly. Once we once I show you everything, then I will be back when we reach Island 400 or something. He gave us another grenade of salt, which is nice, and I can prove that. Let's see how many people are in the region. I'm only doing this for this because I actually want to make sure that I get big hearts or fortitude, which I don't think I can get. Basically, for the reason um, it just won't show up. Okay, there. Because we have a uh, stream move. Alright. So, for the weapon mods, we have homing shots, my caliber. So, homing shots is 100% right now, but even in the beginning with this gun, really good. You'll still have like at least one or two bullets that home out of every time you press the key because it shoots so many off at once. High caliber for damage. Big shot, money shot, sharp shot, fast shot, arc shot, accelerating shot, damage shot, supercharged, rapid fire, split shot, triple shot. Power Punch, Scatter Shot, Mega Crit, 
Critical Blast, Health Shot, Big Mag, Aura Shot, Sharpshooter, Juice, Bubble Shot, and Random Shot. Grenades, Energy Ring, Homing Grenades. Again, very important for the grenades. But upgrading this one only gets you the speed up to 100%, so it doesn't really matter to upgrade it once you have it. Thorn Explosions, Damage Grenades, Poison Explosion, Triple Grenades. This one's important to upgrade, because you can throw three practically every time. 99%, but 99% is the max. Grenader, which is the extra uses. Bubble Blast, Layer Grenades, Spark Explosion, Crystal Barrage, Firework Explosion, Black Hole, Ice, Fire, Clone. This one's also very important because this one spawns 10 more grenades when each grenade explodes <laughs> every time, which is just amazing. Spike, Spinning Blades, Crystal, Ultra Mushroom, Bomb, Spore, Lightning, or or is also really good on both the gun and the grenade. Ghost ammo so I can fire forever practically. Break totem. Amazing. Give you so much health. Everything else. And it has a chance for you to not take health when you use it them. And for it not to break, I think. Bulletproof. Tony's black card, lightning aura, big hearts. This one's been big for me because I get practically nothing from hearts because of my three group perks. Money is power, very good because I have a lot of money. Double vision, extra chest, streamer loot, higher quality loot, gemstone, big after each island. My damage goes up 160%, so it goes basically two and a half times. Grim Reapers for healing. Which I don't really need anymore because I don't get hit. Performance potion, another chest. Exploding enemies just for more damage, freezing, level up. That's the one that's very good. Levels up random ones every thirty every third island. It does seventeen right now. And we'll just keep going up. Explosive armor, tasty orange, big chest, that's why I have so much loot options. Collector. 120% for each perk level. So each, basically, every time you take a perk, it goes up 120%. That's a lot. It's only that much because it's level 30. It's 4% per level of this perk. But this perk is included within the perks that give you the stuff. At least as far as I'm aware. Damage is increased 17% for every 25 eliminations. Also really good. Because we kill a lot, especially on Horde. Special delivery is just more shop items. It's decent. It's it's great once you have a lot of money. But before that, it's not that good. Fortitude. Free health every island. It's great. And then my two group perks. 100% more money. 20% more enemies. Which is honestly just good for me. Damage increased by 500%. Damage. Incoming damage increased by 100%. Doesn't matter, I don't get hit. So that's uh that's where that's at. I'm a bit OP. I'll be back at four hundred if I uh survive that far. Bye.